Soccer 605, we're visiting with Dr. Melissa Price, head coach for the University of Nevada Wolfpack. You guys came all the way to, to South Dakota and got in basically two and a half games in the same number of days. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's running joke that if you're going to go far, you might as well get the most in that you can, right? Um, no, it was two good, good opponents. Um, the South Dakota State was a great host with the tournament, and... Um, you know, f from a standpoint of my team, I think, you know, to walk away, I just told them with two shutouts and and two points, meaning getting a, a point for each tie is, is not the outcome you always want, but it's better than outcomes that could have happened. <laughs> That's right. Well, and you have a, a very athletic team, a lot of skill out there. Uh, it seemed the defense on, on the USD side today was a bit of a frustration for your players, but man, they were working hard and looking good. Yeah, you know, I think we we had some legitimate opportunities to score. There were a few times we were able to get in behind their back line, and and I think we fell short in the type of service, the choice of service that we made, or not enough runners in the box, and and things like that. So, um, you know, I think it was it was tough to break them down in certain spots, and and in other places we had some success, but we weren't able to capitalize. Oh, and when I, when you ran into your second overtime match in as many days, um, with double overtimes. What do you say as a coach to your players to get them to dig deep enough to find what they need to, to finish the game and at least preserve the shutout? Well, you know, I said to them, I reference points in time that you have in practice where you know that they've dug deep before and try to get them to remember what that feels like and know that they were capable of passing that fitness test or, or winning that game um, in training uh, so you don't have to do extra work as we do. So I think it's, it's getting them to call on the reserves and that mental toughness factor. And that's why I think I'm proud of our team for for not giving up a late goal, um, you know, being fatigued, going through two overtimes in a weekend um, when you're traveling and traveling some distance and, you know, but every team has to find a way to do that in college soccer. You know, we all have places to travel and all the things we have to do. So I just looked at him and I said, there's really nothing more I can say to you than to know that I know that we can do this and I know that we're going to get a chance to score a goal and when we do, let's put it away. Find a way to win the game and that's on the players. I can't do anything from the sidelines anymore. It's on them. So um, we made that we made that effort, and and I think we gave it a shot. But in the end, we we didn't get that goal, but we still came out with two shutouts on the weekend. Oh yeah, it was a great weekend. One of those that builds character for your team. Yeah, for now, sure. <laughs> you just joined. Um, is it the Mountain West Conference? Mm -hmm. um, who are some of the other teams that you'll be playing, Coach? Um, we play. So in the Mountain West now is teams like Utah State, um, Fresno State, San Jose State, and then you've got like New Mexico, San Diego State. So we open in two weeks at home against uh, Utah State and Boise State. So um, that'll be our first test in the conference, and uh, I know we'll be ready. Well, we're glad you came to South Dakota for your pre-conference test and wish you a safe trip back home and, and a great season, Coach. Thanks. Thank you.